All right, again, this is the after video. As you can see, this is all new. I think it's a 10 or 12 gauge uh, plate steel. You can see here, this is a new piece that was welded on. This whole underside was welded all the way up to the front. The whole side was welded. The only good part of the frame uh, that, I, that I saw was actually this top part. Um, everything below about uh, three quarters of an inch down was just completely uh, rotted out and destroyed. Again, this is probably due to the shape of the frame and the poor rust proofing job that Toyota did. Um, as you move forward, you can see some of the brackets were touched up a little bit. All of this had to be ground down, wire brush, needle gunned uh, to find the weaknesses. And it just was, we just, the more we did, uh, the worse it got. Um, this cross member was actually able to be saved. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, it did get wire brushed uh, and uh, polymer, uh, or not polymer, but uh, got coated with a primer and then a, an undercoating. And then on the other side of the frame, all of this, this whole part got replaced all the way up to pretty much the very top within about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch all the way down this whole cross member here where it was connected was rusted out and had to be um, cut and fabricated a uh, new connection um, all the way down again you can see this line here but uh, it actually ended up this isn't where it stopped they, they ended up replacing all of this all the way back um, there's a company that uh, makes this piece right here that goes kind of um, makes this arch and uh, I ended up buying that uh, after they said it would fit I can't remember the name of the company but I'll I'll have it posted with the uh, video um, it actually took more time than it uh, would have been just to fabricate it um, this had to be cut out uh, this bushing had to be replaced everything had to be re-welded all the way up and uh, up to the very top of the arch there had to be replaced, um, fabricated. Uh, it was all primered again and recoated with uh, undercoating. And just before winter, I uh, had everything sprayed with a heavy oil, both inside and out, just to prevent any further rusting. And then there's also these drainage holes here uh, in case any water uh, it does get in it does have a place to get out because there are plenty of places along the frame where it can actually get in But it's really important that you let it back out again uh, This may have been another uh, flaw with the Toyota design